Hello there. Well, a little pinch. Um, you're curious to know about how to sing and play guitar at once, two different melodies. Well, um, there are two approaches which I would like to talk about, and I'm going to use the acoustic guitar for this one. Um, for instance, my method of um, of playing various uh, songs and getting my uh, my singing and guitar playing abilities in sync is to learn acoustic songs. This is actually the basic way to start being better and better at playing. Uh, Acoustic guitar, acoustic guitar, actually guitar and vocals at the same time. For instance, uh, one song which uh, created some, let's say, problems for me, uh, and I thought that I would never be able to sing and play it was uh, um, uh, the Three Libraries song from A Perfect Circle. You know this one. Maybe you, you've heard about it, but anyway, uh, what I actually did was learn the guitar part very, very well, up to the point where I could play it in my sleep, um, and then learn the vocal part in the same manner, so I could always sing it whenever, you know. And at the moment at which you are able to tap your foot to the ground, you know, like one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, you can uh, let your foot become your uh, the uh, the internal clock of your body, and you're able to play the guitar without thinking about it. Um, you can let your body become a backing track for your voice and you can all you can just concentrate on your voice it takes a lot of practice and it takes uh, time to understand where the voice is coming in so you have to have a clear um, let's say landmark of the uh, of the bars and of the rhythmic elements that help your voice you know because uh, for instance, when you play the uh, the verse part, so this would be the verse part. You know these four four chords, right? So you have through you the obvious, and you flew with it on your back. A name in your among a million same Difficult not to feel a little bit Disappointed and passed over But I look right through See you naked but oblivious And you don't see Okay, so this was the whole verse part. So, as I told you, you have to be very, very masterful over the guitar parts. And this is a, a difficult song. I don't recommend you to start with this one. Uh, choose, make a little list of songs that you like and know very, very well. It's very important to know the song and to be able to hum it in your, uh, in your sleep even. When I wake you up at night and I say, hey, hum that, you should be able to hum it. So, learn the guitar part. Be able to play the guitar while having the, the foot work for you and then learn the vocal part. Learn to sing the vocal part separately. Learn to, sing, to play the guitar part separately. And then understand where the voice comes in over the bars in the song and what sort of landmarks regarding the chords and uh, uh, other rhythmic elements played by the guitar you have in the song. And the way they work in correlation with the voice. Because that voice, you can consider that voice as a guitar line. So, having these things in mind, try to experiment and work on it. And why not post a recording here of your favorite song. Choose an easy song. 
it has to have three chords. I don't know. Uh, for instance, this uh, this is another very nice song which I like to to sing and play. Uh, how was it? Uh, Our mistake was the love we made. I didn't deliberate. No, I never meant you wrong. No, I didn't mean it. You know, it's just downstrokes, you know, and four chords, but it's very important to understand where, how the chords switch between themselves and how the voice comes over those chords. Experiment. This is how I did it. Experimenting and singing and playing a lot. I have a, an extensive playlist, I guess, 40 or 50 songs which I'm working on. One at a time, uh, some parts separately, or I don't know, um, how I feel like it. And in the end, hopefully by the end of this year, I can play a very big part of them. So as I said, record something, show me what you got, and we can uh, take it forward. Cheers!